Oh, hi there. Welcome to Matt's on Motors. Now, back in World War II, the Jeep was super popular amongst the US military. It would go anywhere. It was super versatile. In the 80s, they released the Wrangler, and that is the car we're driving today, the fifth generation of it. Once, of course, we've put it back together. You can, in fact, take off all four doors of the Wrangler, plus all three sections of the roof, and if you want a true open experience, why not fold down the windscreen? It's all doable in a matter of minutes. So the Jeep Wrangler, well this, the latest incarnation, Jeep say is inspired by its heritage, but includes cutting edge technology, enhanced visibility, improved comfort and more. I mentioned that Jeep had a military history, feels like a tank, everything about it is rock solid. So let's start with the interior. Everything you'd expect to be here is here. Electric windows, electric mirrors, there's cruise control, climate control, and a media center with a hard disk drive built in. It means you can load it with your music, and then you don't have to connect anything to it. You can play back directly from it. Everything's fairly simple, perhaps not as high tech as other vehicles on the road, but you get the impression that 30, 40 years down the line, everything in here is still going to be working like the day it rolled off the factory. Driving the Jeep is for me a relaxed affair. It's not a sports car. It's not intended to go fast. It's an off-roader, a four-wheel drive, although you can select two-wheel drive mode. There's a choice of 2.0-litre or 2.2-litre turbocharged engines, each with an automatic gearbox. And using that gearbox is a doddle. It's far easier to navigate through than some of the vehicles we've driven recently on mats on motors. It might be a big vehicle, but it's very easy to get round. Despite being all new, the Wrangler's look hasn't changed that much since its launch. They do say, though, that this is the most capable model ever, meaning you can go further than you ever thought possible. Inside, there's a simple but refined interior. And if you are going off-road or the inside is dirty, simply open a new one-way floor valve and hose your car down, with water and dirt all running out. And speaking of off-roading, it was time for some fun. So there you have it, the Jeep Wrangler, not just another SUV, a proper off-roader, equally at home on the road. And with sales of Jeep soaring over the last few years, maybe now is the time for you to buy this one. It's for sale right now here at Motor Mall on Cool Road in Braddon. Thank you for watching. Do check out the previous episode on the Porsche Macan and join us again in a couple of weeks' time when we'll have more Matt on Motors.